My name is uh, Juan Esteban Areano. I was born and raised here in Embudo, New Mexico. And when you live in a desert, you learn to appreciate water more. You learn to take uh, better care of the water that you have. And everybody that lives here, you know, we get the water for our farms uh, from the acequias. Well, I guess uh, an acequia is uh, an open canal that where you can see the water running. There's probably about a thousand or more acequias throughout the state of New Mexico. And uh, here all the acequias are they're managed by a commission of three people and then the the three commissioners usually hire what is called a mayordomo, that he's a, the person that's in charge of the water. You know, he's the one that's in charge of the day to day operation of of the acequia, make sure that there's water running. He has to make sure that uh, that beavers don't build a dam in the middle of the acequia and also make sure that it's clean, you know, and that everybody gets the water, that everybody that pays for the water rights gets the water. The water rights owner here is called the parciante. And then the water is divided uh, based on the amount of land you have. Well, when you're a mayordomo, you have to deal with all the people in the, you know, so you have to be a little bit of a of a psychologist because people are, doesn't matter what you're dealing with them, people are hard to, to get along sometimes. Even people that are your close neighbors that you think that have, you have always gotten along with, all of a sudden when you're in charge of the water, it creates problems in the, in the community. Sometimes people don't want to pay what, what they owe and uh, but yet they want to use the water and when you tell them they have to pay before they use the water they get mad you know and they kind of uh, harass you and challenge you and but that's the way it is you know well for me water is the most essential element that we have you know uh, the Arabs called it a, a don divino and I think that's the way we see water here, you know, it's a divine, divine right.